Hi everyone, my name's Claire and I make videos on motherhood and lifestyle and I upload twice a week, one vloggy type video and one other. Um, I have a, an 11 week old little boy called Samuel and as you can tell with the title of this video, this is his nursery tour. Just a couple of things before I get into the nursery tour. I actually filmed the video when it was a bit later on in the evening, so it is a bit dark, I do apologise for that. Um, the bedroom itself is in the attic of the house, so, so I live in a tenement and it's in the, the attic of the tenement. Um, so it's a bit of an odd shape, you'll see that in the, the rest of the video. And the furniture, the bedroom furniture, so the, the cot, the wardrobe, the changing table, um, they are all from mamas and papas. I'm really, really impressed with the quality of them and the style of them as well. I think they suit the room really well. So um, without further ado, uh, enjoy the video. So this is Samuel's room. It's just off the hall um, and on his door we have this uh, Samuel in woven kind of uh, wire. It's beautiful um, and uh, we've got a little present, Samuel's sleeping. Um, so if I just push the door open, as you walk in, we have this um, this print up here. This was from a local shop, it's just Animal Collective, so I thought it was really cute for his room. So as I was saying earlier, this is in the eaves of the house. As you walk in, you can see that. I will just close the door behind us. So as you walk into the, the room, you've got, oh, I've got my cup of tea there, I'll just move that out of the way, but you've got his changing table. So this changing table is from Mamas and Papas, as all the furniture, um, you know, the crib, the wardrobe and the changing table is from Mamas and Papas. Um, we've got this changing mat from TK Maxx, as I was saying, this is a um, jungle themed room, so I thought that went really, really well with it. We've got some teddies up and we've got these shelves above his changing table. So these are from Ikea, I've done that hack that everybody does and turned them into shelves. So up here we've got lotions and wipes and his wee bits and bobs and in here we've got um, things to keep him entertained while we're changing them. Which I think this one works best just now because at the moment uh, he's 11 weeks old so he's starting to look at things um, and that keeps him Quite entertained for a while while we're changing. At the moment we're using reusable nappies on them. Um, so yeah, we just use these. We've also got uh, disposable nappies. If we're going out anywhere, we can take one of them with us. Not that we're really going out anywhere just now in lockdown. But yeah, that's what the changing table area looks like. Uh, just down here in the corner, I've got his washing basket. He doesn't use his washing basket just now. Obviously, he's a bit young. Um, but I do keep his clothes that I'm going to donate or keep if we have for future children. Um, so anything that doesn't fit him, I just throw in there and I go through it once it's full and either vacuum pack what we're keeping or take it downstairs and put it in the donate pile. On the back of the door, we have a little um, brass cats hanging. So you can hang things off their tails just there. And we put it down low so that when Samuel is able to, um, he can hang up his own wee bits and bobs on there. I think we will get another one for higher up, but uh, we've only got that one just now. So yeah, that is that area of the room. As you walk in, you can see um, it is a bit bare just now. We will get more pictures and things to hang up. Um, but I, th I really like it at the moment, the way that it's styled and the way that it looks. So if you come round here, this bit is quite a dull part of the room. The I think I'm going to get a lamp or something to put in this corner, which will brighten this up because I think this we want to make it a wee kind of reading corner. So we have put a couple more of those IKEA sh uh, shelves up, spice racks, whatever you want to call them. We've put them up and we've put what books he's got up on them just now. I've also got books from when I was a wee girl down there um, that he can he can use when he's old enough. We've also got the baby box, so that's um, everybody in Scotland gets a baby box when they're having a baby and this was filled with clothes and toys and everything, all the essentials you need for a baby. I've actually got a video on that if you want to go and check it out, it's one of my previous ones. Um, and that's also his memory box, so I'm just putting things, wee bits and bobs in there as I go along to put in the loft and keep for him for when he's older. I've got a, a video on that as well if you want to go and check that out. 
Um, and over here we have Dumbo, we got gifted Dumbo from a friend and he's just sitting on a wee stool that we got from TK Maxx. A wee solid, it's like a wee milking stool, um, but it's a wee zebra and I just thought that would be super cute. When he gets a bit older he can sit and maybe read on that. Um, this side of the room has got the loft hatches, but they're locked up so he can't get into them. Even when he does start walking and things, we'll take the keys out so he is in no danger of getting into the loft. But yeah, so that's that side of the room. It looks, it's coming together. It does need some more stuff up in the walls and a lamp over here, maybe a little table. But yeah, it's kind of coming together and um, looking quite cute. And then if I spin round here, this is the dormer window area. So at the moment, we don't have any curtains up, um, but I do have the material and I will be making the curtains myself. Um, so I will put a wee cut away of what the material looks like. It's really bright and animal themed and I thought it would look good in this room because this room's really grey and white uh, so that will add a big injection of colour. Um, along with the chair that I got, I got this from Ikea. So this is my nursing chair. I've got to put a cat scratching post behind it because Dexter was just destroying the chair already. So, um, and then I've got some blankets hanging over the back because it can get pretty chilly at night time when you're feeding. So, yeah, that's what I use. Not every night. Um, a lot of the time I'll feed in bed, but in the evening um, I come through here and, and feed him. And it's just a nice relaxing area. I can look out over the city. It's a really nice view in his room. I don't know if you can see out today. It's not as clear as some days, but it's a really nice view. And this lamp that I've got here, this is from Ikea as well. Um, that's a dimmer lamp, so it looks really, really nice. Um, it's a nice relaxing environment for him falling asleep. We've got some teddies over here and a ridiculously sized teddy bear one of my friends bought is. Um, something that every parent needs, you know. Um, but I'm sure Samuel will love it as he grows up. Um, on the mantelpiece here, on the mantelpiece? No, the window ledge. We have just some wee bits and bobs that we've been given or um, that were ours when we were younger that we just thought went really nicely in this room. So yeah, it looks quite pretty. And up here on the wall, if I move back a bit, um, we have a couple of animal heads sticking out the wall. So we've got an elephant and a giraffe. And this was my partner's doing. He absolutely loved these. So um, we've got them on command hooks hanging on the wall so they don't damage any of the paintwork. But I think they, they look really good in the room. They really add a wee, a wee bit of something for a kid's room. So yeah, I think he'll love that growing up. Um, down here underneath we have some toys that he's not yet old enough to play with but we've been, we got given um, for his Christmas and things like that. And over here we have his play mat. Um, so he does lie on this and he uses these teddies, their tails for tummy time. And he loves this. Uh, this projects um, stars and spaceships and things onto the ceiling. And he lies on his play mat and just looks up at the ceiling and he absolutely loves it. It keeps him so relaxed and, and uh, calm for ages. I'll insert a wee picture of him just chilling out watching the stars because it's adorable. Um, but yeah, so we are using this part of the room. It's really nice. Moving around here is the wardrobe. So we got really um, a really big wardrobe because I wanted this furniture to last them. The cot that we've got turns into a cot bed. So hopefully that will carry on lasting. But this um, fits quite snugly into here. And it's just got all the kind of clothes and stuff that don't fit them yet in there and toys and boxes and things. Um, above it, we're keeping part of the travel system that he's n not yet fitting into. Um, we keep that up there, just to keep it out of the way for a wee bit of storage. And this is the cot area. So I absolutely love this cot. It is gorgeous. It's really solid as well. It's big and chunky and I really like that. I think it goes really well in this room. Um, obviously it's filled with teddies just now, which it won't be when he's in it, um, but he's not sleeping in here yet, he's sleeping through in our room. One other thing I love about this cot is that it's got this massive storage drawer underneath where I keep, you know, spare sheets for him and just boxes and, and toys and bits and bobs. I find that really, really handy. I've got a wee knitted blanket that one of our friends knitted him. Uh, yeah, so we use this just now for 
um, just laying him down and he, he sits and watches his mobile going round and round. He's, um, he's able to focus on that now and he loves the colours so he can sit and watch that for ages. Uh, it keeps him really chilled out. Um, and we have this picture that I'm going to put up. I've got a frame for it coming. It's just not arrived yet. Um, I got the picture from an uh, Instagram shop called Max Made Me Do It. It's a really, really pretty shop with lots of nice things, but I just thought that looked, looked lovely in his room. So that's going to go up above his bed there. Um, above his bed is the light in the room. Um, this one was right above his crib, so we managed to find a cloud. I know it's not really showing it very well just now, um, but it's a cloud we got from Ikea. Um, and it diffuses the light really nicely, so it doesn't look really bright. Um, Obviously, we don't use this light very often. What we what we would use at night time is the lamp in here. And if I get another lamp to go over there, I don't think we'll use that light at all very often. But it does diffuse the light quite nicely. And we need it just now because it's so dull outside. Um, yeah, this time of year, it's January. Oh, no, it's 1st of February, sorry. <laughs> um, this time of year, it's really, really dull outside. So we need all the light we can get. But yeah, so that is his room. So if I just show you, I'll pan round. Um, this was the door he came in and got his changing area. Um, we have got his reading area around here. Well, what, what will be his reading area when he grows up. And then if I turn around here, got where I nurse him at the moment, you know, looking out over the city. And then round here is his wee kind of play area and chill out area with his uh, projector that goes onto the ceiling. And then background, we've got the um, the wardrobe and background to his cot. So yeah, it's a really nice size room for a little boy. Um, I think he will love it. As he grows up, there's loads of space on the floor for him to play and um, just enjoy it, you know. I think it will be absolutely lovely. And I will get the curtains made before he moves in here. I mean, he's only 11 weeks old, so I don't need to worry about it too much yet. Um, but yeah, so that's his room. So thank you very much for watching that video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, please like, or if you've got any questions, just put it in the comments below. I get back to all the comments. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye.